I want to share something that's absolutely awesome with you today and this is the white morph plastic but not only that I want to share a couple of other things with you as well I've got these molds and they're past it now they don't really do very clean castings because I've used them a lot but I want to transform them into just pendants using the center part of each of the mold so I need a blank of that and I'm going to use this white morph plastic I mean if you want to check out my video on my other channel on how I use it to make ergonomic handles and things like that then I'll link that video at the end of this one all you need is some hot water you pour your little balls into the hot water and um, as soon as they've gone transparent which doesn't take too long in the hot water then they're ready to use look at that they've nearly gone transparent now we'll just give it a bit of a move around and the great thing is they collect up together as well now don't burn yourself with this because it's easy because you're using hot water so that's done i'm going to Get the water off there, lay that on my mat, and then just knead that together like that. So you've got a nice big ball of it, and it's very, very pliable, and it's not too hot at all now. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking a bit off, okay, and then I'm pushing it really firmly into this mould where I want to take an impression. Flattening that back off because that is the only thing I want because I want to make pendants from this but it's the wrong shape and like I said this mold has really had it now and you'll be so surprised how well this takes impressions I mean it's awesome it is awesome I love it I, I know I'm late to the party with this again as I am with a lot of things because this has been out a long time but there's a lot of people that have never heard of it and have used it now and think it's awesome so now you, what you need to do is get that as flat as possible and into the shape that you want and you need to let that cool right down so it goes completely opaque again and I found the quickest way to do that is to just pop it into some cold water and that really does help it get cooled down and if you want to make it a little bit more pliable all you need to do is pop it in there that will soften it up again and then we can do the next one see look how terrible that mold has got in there now it just doesn't take any details whatsoever with the resin i don't want all this other stuff around it a lot of people ask me could you make molds with this because when i demonstrated it on my other channel and the answer is absolutely you can not a problem pop that one in the water see, as you can see that one's already starting to cool down it's starting to go white well these have been in this cold water for about three minutes and they're ready to come out oh look that one's already released and look at what brilliant molds they've just made they really have come out brilliantly now i'm going to mold these using silicon and if silicon doesn't get too hot then this shouldn't affect these plastic bits at all and i'm going to mold them in in this little molding box well i've got all these set up in there now and i've attached them using just a thin strip of double-sided sticky tape and i put them on a little bit of polystyrene that helps me to keep it level and easier to move it around with as well and so now it's time to mix up my silicon and i'm using a new silicon i've used it once before on my other channel so check that out it's a jdiction silicon it is a translucent clear it's bubble free super soft ultra elastic no odor cures within five to six hours non-toxic and durable and i have to say i'm very very impressed rest with this silicon so before i mix that up what i am going to do is give this mold now a quick spray of silicon mold release and that'll just allow those blanks to come out a lot easier than they would if i didn't use it and it also helps to keep the details in as well and bubbles won't stick to them it doesn't matter what you're using as your weight as long as it's the same for each part let's start with my part a I'm going to put in here 260 grams part A and 260 grams of part B. Now, I always have something on the side as well, just in case I mix up too much that I can pour this into and it gives me something else to mould. And now you need to mix these up for about three to four minutes, making sure that you scrape the sides and the base constantly and then scraping your stick that you're mixing with. Well, that's all nicely mixed up now and all I need to do is pour it in. And what I would suggest is that you pour first over each one of them to ensure that you've got a good coating and that way you'll get a much better result and more detail in it 
pour in a thin stream as well, you tend to not add so many bubbles. I can't tell you how much I appreciate everybody who got me a coffee last month. It really has enabled me to live my dream. So thank you so much. Everything that I get from coffees, I reinvest into my channel and allows me to buy all the things that I do, like testing these things as well. So if you'd like to buy me a coffee, just to say thank you for any of my videos, help support my channel and be on my list of people. I'm entirely grateful for the link for that is in the description below. Thank you again. All those are nicely covered now and all I need to do is fill this up to that line. There we are. And now all I need is to leave that to one side, let that cure up for the next six or seven hours and then I will show you what it comes out like at the end. I'll leave this to cure as well because then I can just pull it off the mug and reuse it. For any bubbles that have come up, you can always pop them with a long neck lighter as well. Not that that is really going to make much difference because they will disappear anyway as the silicon is curing. Huge thank you to all my members as well whose names are coming up now. Again, like the people that buy me coffee, you guys really keep me going. And also, I hope you enjoy all the benefits. If you'd like to become a member and enjoy all the benefits of membership, then the link for that is in the description below as well. Look forward to seeing you over there. Okay, I can now move this really easily because it's on that piece of polystyrene and now I'll leave it to cure. Well, this is all nice and solid now and ready to come out. And it does come out easy and as I do it, like this and I split it down where I put the tape in, tape on or the glue on, then I can always get it out and reuse it again like I did earlier. Now there will be a little bit of underpour on these. There always is. Yeah, look, that's what I mean by underpour. Now I like to deal with that while it's in the mold because I find that that is much easier. All you need is a sharp blade like this. It's much easier to do it now than when you take it out of the actual silicon. I've cleaned all those up and these should pop out really well now. And don't throw these away. All you need to do is give these a little bit of a wash under some cool soapy water to get off any of that excess silicon spray that we use, the mold release. And then you can reheat these in hot water, melt them down and use them for something else. That has taken some superb impressions. So I'm very pleased with how those have come out. Look at them. Look at all the details in there. And I want to test this mould out now as well. And the other thing is, by testing the mould out, if there's any little impurities or anything that you've left in there that needs taken out, it'll help remove those. And I'm going to be using the brilliant three times super yellow resistant resin by J-Diction. It is a brilliant resin. I use it a lot. I love this resin. And it mixes up as a one-to-one. -one. It's now coming in these child safety pots and easier to pour as well. So I'm not going to need too much for this. I think I'm probably going to need about 140 grams in total. Mm, no, maybe a bit more. 160 grams in total. And it really is a very UV resist resin. Well, I've mixed up my resin now and I'm using just three different colours. That's all I'm using for this one. This is my tester for the mould and I want to see what they come out like as well. But this mould in silicon is superb and as I said it's lovely and easy to use. If you pour in slowly you're less likely to trap bubbles and also you get all the details come out nicer. Well that's going to have a little bit of glitter, black glitter in it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt about that. They're all poured now. I'm just going to quickly go over, burst any little bubbles that have come up to the top and then let these cure. And I'll show you what they look like and I'll show you what they look like made up into little pendants and earrings. Well, these are all cured now and I can take them out and look how wonderful they've come out. Let's take one of these out as well. Look at that. They've come out brilliantly. So I'm going to make these up into jewellery and I'll show you what they look like made up into jewellery. Well, these are all finished now. Really easy to do. Such a superb silicon as well. Lovely and flexible and has cured really hard. I love the earrings that have come out and the pendants. Now, I covered these in gold and I used the J-Diction chrome markers. And they do three bronze, silver and gold and they come in a little pack. And they're brilliant. They work so well. All I literally did was got the ink flowing and then I just painted over them. It sticks to this resin really well. Look at that. What a lovely solid looking colour. So there we go. Really simple to do. 
pendant. I like the pendant, very shiny. And the earrings as well. Hope you've enjoyed this. Don't ever be afraid to try and make your own mold. It couldn't be easier these days, especially when you've got great molding silicons out there that are really, <laughs> thank goodness, idiot proof, because if not, I wouldn't be making molds. And you've also got great resins out there as well. Boot that like button if you've enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button. It really helps my videos to get there and share it as much as you can on social media because that helps too. If you'd like to buy me a coffee or get hold of anything I've used today, I will link everything in the description below. Take care, enjoy your resin. Bye.